Hello everybody, welcome back to Weedy Wednesday. We got a box of bankrolls, which if you remember last week we had a box of bankrolls. And I got a good feeling about this. I know I say that every week, I always got a good feeling. Uh, but I think this is gonna actually have some really, really good results. Let's check it out. Here we go guys, summary time, check it out. We got a ton of Canadians here. These are all of our copper Canadians. So this is everything 1997, uh, excuse me, 1996 and earlier. We got, we're just gonna go through them real quick. 79, 78, just so you guys can see what we're getting. Lots of 80s, we'll, we'll see a lot of 80s in here. So 72, the other one was an 84. That one's an 82 right there. Got a 75. I'm just going through them real quick. Got a 72 and an 81. Lots of Canadians, man. If you look at this, the Google spreadsheet, um, 80 and 81, you'll see we've found a ton of Canadians. Several dollars worth of Canadians. There's a 68 and a 76. Really nice uh, looking 1985. I might check the book for that one. 1966. 79, 65, and a 66. 1977 and 1975 got to make sure I stay in that focal point for you huh <laughs> 83 and a 74 and our last two is an 89 and a 78 so how many is that let's see what we've got there's five there's five more 15 23 so that's about what our average is I'd have to check the Google spreadsheet to see what the average is here's our zinc and steel ones and they're all zinc this time. We have not yet found any steel Canadians. 98, a pair of them right there. Look at the difference in that. Both 1998s. What a difference. Another 98, a 2000. And look at this one. It's a 98. Super corroded, but that's all right. We did get one young head. 1954, very, very cool to find that young head. 
Young heads or anything 1964 and older until you get to the King George's. I honestly don't know what year the King George's started. 2009s. Here's our 2009s. Let's sort them out and see what we got. Early years. I think we've got some of all of them. Residential. Yep. Sorry, that was professional life. Looks like we got a nice stack of all of them. Three of the early years. Four. Three presidential, or excuse me, uh, professional life and two of the presidential. The presidential, I think, are the ones that have the lowest mintage. So, really, really cool, but check this out, guys. Wheat pennies. Look at this. Bam, you see that? Yeah. You know what it is. We're gonna save it for last, even though you know what it is. We got six of them. One of these is a 1937. I happen to see it. I don't know which one. Maybe it's this one right here. No, 1951 Denver. Oh, we got seven. Here's another one right here. I missed it. 1958 Denver. Yeah, total of seven wheat pennies today. 1952 Denver. Oh my goodness, I yawned. 1956 Denver. Holy 50s. There it is, 1937. I saw that one obverse up. <clears throat> and a 1946 Denver. Check it out, guys. A 1943. Steel scent. This is the very first steel scent that I have ever found in um, rolls. I've seen them in the rejected coins. I've gotten them uh, from the coin store, but this is the very first 1943 that I have gotten coin roll hunting. So that is really, really cool. Really cool to find. We're going to put that in our bag of wheat pennies. Actually, all of them are going to eventually go in our bag of wheat pennies as giveaways on our live stream. Live streams are coming back, guys. Um, we worked out some, uh, some uh, stream labs, um, did some testing of some stream labs uh, last week, and uh, we are going to refine those and get back to our live streams really soon. So very, very cool. I think that's a thumbnail right there. I think it's two thumbnails. Guys, what can I say about that? I mean, really, how about that good feeling? A steel scent, that huge pile of Canadians. Man, it was an awesome, awesome box. Don't forget to check out the Google Doc that I've shared down in the video description. I've put in a tiny URL, no more of those big long URLs. It's a tiny URL. Go out there, check out what we have found so far in uh, uh, 2019. It's all the Canadians, all of the uh, wheat pennies, all of the uh, 2009s, any notable finds, cool things that we find in the box like dimes. Um, go check it out. It, it's really interesting. There's some averages and you can see whether it's a customer box or a bank box. And I'm really kind of surprised by the results. Averages being what they are and numbers being what they are coming from customer rolls versus bank rolls. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you guys really, really soon. Take care. Bye.